podcast here been a review of Avengers Confidential Black Widow Punisher. So basically what this anime is about is S.H.I.E.L.D. is after this terrorist group called Leviathan. They are basically in charge of uh, terrorism. They did some drug crimes. They did some arms deals, human trafficking, all these bad things. So um, they're after them. And Punisher is after one of the guys who works for them. So um, he fights all the goons. He kills them actually. And then he brings out um, the guy who he was looking for. And Black Widow comes out of nowhere, and um, she's like, this is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s property, you don't need to do any of this, you need to back away, and just walk away from this. And he's like, no, I'm not doing any of that, I'm gonna get this guy, he's my problem, you need to get out of here. So the two of them fight, and um, it's a really cool fight actually. Um, Black Widow being this background character in the Avengers, and Punisher being this anti-hero, it was really cool to see them fight. And um, S.H.I.E.L.D. backs up Black Widow, and Nick Fury comes out saying, um, you don't need to do any of this. And um, Black Widow tases uh, Punisher, and they take him to S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. So Nick Fury explains the Leviathan and everything like that. And um, they go to Russia to um, track down kind of what's going on there. So Black Widow and Punisher, they find um, this robotic super soldier kind of organization going on that is also with Leviathan. And um, one of the guys who is working for them is Black Widow's ex-boyfriend. Now this guy's a little confusing. He's Red Guardian and Egghead, the crappy M and the one who he cares about. Um, both those guys mixed together in one. And this just takes a huge chunk out of the movie, at least like 30 minutes out of the movie. And it's just really boring. It's just all this romantic drama that nobody cares about. Um, I was just like, can we just get back to the action already? So that happened. And um, they fight. And um, Black Widow and uh, Punisher go back to S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. And um, Amadeus chose in this movie. So Black Widow and him are talking about um, Leviathan finding everything that um, Punisher and Black Widow went to Russia for. And um, Punisher just flips out and just fights all these S.H.I.E.L.D. guys and tries to kill um, Black Widow and Amadeus Cho. So um, he's just killing everybody and then eventually he just gets his mind back. And then um, he's in jail and Black Widow is like, we still have to go after the Leviathan. And um, he's like, no, I messed up, I did all this. So they go back to Russia and um, they're fighting the robotic super soldiers that I was talking about a while ago. And um, it was a really cool fight, and then the Avengers show up because they're on the front of the cover and they had to make money, right? So um, they show up, they're not in there long, but um, it was cool to see them. Hawkeye is in there, and I love Hawkeye, so that was awesome. And um, around the end, it got a little boring, I'm not gonna lie. And um, I'm not gonna spoil the rest, but it's a cool fight at the end, but kind of waste of time. So this is mainly Black Widow's movie, not gonna lie. It was kind of cool since we're not gonna get a solo Black Widow movie in the MCU. You kind of see her and her um, doing her own thing in this movie a lot. And Punisher's him here a lot, but um, not as much as I would like. Um, and it's all right. Uh, Punisher has a Netflix series and he was in the Daredevil, which is related to the MCU. So it's all right. But um, overall, did I like this anime? Not really. I was expecting a lot because I am a fan of anime. Um, I love the genre, I love the style, I love everything about it. The art is pretty cool in this movie, but just the storyline is just dragged out in some places. Um, not enough Punisher, the action is just really not really there. But um, it was okay. Uh, Madhouse is the um, anime production that made this movie along with um, other animes. Um, X-Men anime, which is really good. Blade, which I haven't seen. Um, Iron Man, Wolverine, which is really bad. Um, an Iron Man movie, which was an anime as well. And then this. So, um, it's an okay movie, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I'm gonna have to give it a 6 out of 10. Not a huge fan of this. Definitely not the best anime. Um, so, it was okay. But if you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments below. If you want some animated review, let me know. 
If you want movies reviewed, let me know. I'm gonna try to do this format a lot more. Yeah. Alright guys, take care. Peace.